Right, so in order to get your reactive dog focused on the ball, you first have to introduce it when there's no distractions. Ignore the puppy. So you, you, you give the dog the ball, get them pulling on it, really engage the game. The, the rope balls, or the balls on a rope, are the better ones. This is actually a small one, so that Jack Russell can get it as well. So if your dog's not that keen on the ball, then when you wave it around, it builds up the prey drive. Now I don't particularly want a lot of prey drive in my dog because I have um, three cats. I'll do another video after as well to teach you how to stop your dog doing that. So once you've built up the prey drive, then what you can do, as you're walking your dog, you have to do all this first. So let's say you, you've done all this and your dog's used to um, pulling, and you can see how much he's pulling. So then what you would do, Blue Leaf, is you'll walk and then when you see a dog, as soon as you see your dog try and lock eyes with that dog, within three seconds you're going to whoosh, present this ball to your dog. I'll see if I can do you a quick demo. So we're walking along, you see the dog's already focused. Yes. Oh, good boy. And then as we walk past the dog, we're going to create drive in, in your dog and getting past so we don't focus on the other dog.